Hey guys, Mr. HPK351 for another Doctor Who action figure review. My apologies for the nasty nails. I haven't got them cut. I haven't even cut them yet. But I am back here with another Doctor Who set and my first new series Doctor Who set that I own. And the only one thus far. This will change hopefully soon with whatever set I'd like to get next. Now, this is the most recent set. This one of the most recent sets. And it's the Impossible set featuring the 11th Doctor, as seen in The Snowman, and Osmond Oswald, as seen in Sound of the Daleks. Now, warning, there will be spoilers. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> oh, sorry, that was gross. But, uh, on to the figures. Now, I'm going to start with the 11th Doctor, as he's sleep. And this actually, despite being a quite a different variant of... Uh, Matt Smith's beloved Doctor. Uh, it's actually one of my favorites of Doctor figures I own, and I own f four. Gonna own five in a little bit, because I got the Seventh Doctor and TARDIS set. Uh, this figure is from his appearance in the Snowman, in which he met uh, Victorian Clara, the Impossible Girl once again. And actually. I might start doing some fan idea reviews. But I should be doing some other videos involving uh, those little theories. Now, here we go. That's a good camera angle. Now, this figure's detail includes it has the free uh, lapels and even a free collar. Uh, he is in red, not tweed, just in a uh, maroonish, reddish, purple outfit. He has a fob chain there and a little fob watch, and he has his buttons. And you might actually be asking, why does he not have a bow tie? Oh my god, why does Eleven not have a bow tie? And I know I said it there. It's because in the episode, he actually didn't have a bow tie, which is true to the series. Uh, he has lovely tie boots. Uh, and yeah, likeness-wise, it captures the episode perfectly. But face likeness-wise, it's... I believe reusing parts of other figures. Now, articulation includes you can kick out the leg, move the leg there, the leg at the thigh, bend the knee, and I can't bend the ankles, but because you have the bend there. Uh, oh, there is a little bit of movement there uh, at the waist. Sorry, I forgot it. Uh, then we have a little bit of wrist articulation, but I'll here. Wrist articulation, elbow articulation, bicep articulation, and like my Sea Devil figure, it can actually, it actually has ball jointed shoulders. So this is actually, excuse me, my most articulated doctor. Which, good on you, Eleven. And it also even has head articulation. So this figure is one of the most articulated figures I have, which is good because I don't just like to set them on a shelf. I like to give them use, and I will be animating with these figures shortly. Not shortly, but at some point. Now, so what do I think of this figure right now? It's brilliant. It's a lovely costume. And actually, if Eleven didn't have the bow tie, let me use words here, gimmick, uh, it actually would have been a nice, generally, series costume. And actually, I could... What I would love to see is a series with Eleven and Vastra, Strax, and Jenny, where they all just fight old Doctor Who monsters in Victorian London. But yeah, this might be to some people who just kind of looked at the sets on the internet and decided which ones they wanted. This might be the weak link, but in my opinion, it's one of the best parts. Now on to Oswald. Oh, I forgot to mention something. He has an accessory. His sonic screwdriver, which is open, because I don't think there's a closed variation, but it looks nice open. And it's my first new series screwdriver, because this is my first new series figure. Now, Oswin Oswald. Now, here's where spoilers come in. Oswin Oswald appeared in some of the Daleks as Clara Dalek. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and she died saving Amy, Rory, and the Doctor from the asylum that the Daleks forced them to go into. Now, before I forget about it, 
Osman comes with a accessory, which is a souffle, as her nickname, the 11, 11 gave her, was Souffle Girl. And she gave him the name of the Chin. Now, articulation-wise on Clara, I can't move it at the head, but I believe it's because of the hair. Bicep articulation, there, so she can kind of slap people. Uh, she can move her arm, so she can do this. I don't know why. Uh, she can kick out the leg. She can't bend the leg, there's no thing there. And she can bend at the knee, and... I thought there was articulation at the feet. So, Clara, it, oh, and she also even has a little bit of extra articulation. Right there, so she can actually move. She can actually drink things. Now, this figure, it would have been a great figure. Detail-wise, it has some resemblance to Jenna, it has actually a lot of resemblance to Jenna Coleman, especially in the episode, because her lips are very prominent. Makeup-wise. Don't you take that dirty. Uh, the costume is all red, and uh, the costume was all red in the episode, and there was a little droop in the shoulder there. So the costume is completely accurate, and I love the shoes, and I believe they're actually Chuck Taylors. Don't hate me if I'm wrong. Uh, she is wearing the uh, tool belt, a souffle tool belt, I believe, and I believe that just kind of sticks out to me, the little whiskey thingy there. The one thing that brings the Oswin, Jesus, sorry, at uh, 11, that brings the Oswin Oswald figure, slash Clara figure, down is the fact that, can you hear that? Come on, there's a little sound. Her legs are incredibly loose, you can't touch them without it moving. So... Basically, with the two figures I own in the skirt, they are both very... They both have their problems. Oswin's legs, too wiggly. Uh, Leela's legs, too stiff. So, from the figures I own, character options needs to work on characters and skirts. Do not take that out of context. But, other than that, it's a great figure, and it comes with a rather unique accessory. Which, if you have the End of Time Master... And eat a print souffle. Um, what are my thoughts on this set? Well, it's a good set, and this one gives you more value. This one gives you more to do than, let's say, Time of the Doc than the Time of the Doctor set. Although the costume on t the Time of the Doctor is, I prefer it a little more regularly. But this one is probably my favorite Doctor figure I own. Which says a lot, because I have a Tom, a Peter Davison, and a John Pertwee, and I'm going to get a Sylvester McCoy. So, yeah, Oswin, mm, kind of a letdown, but I really, it's a good figure, kind of a letdown. So, if you find it for a good price, get it, and if it is a little bit bright, I think these actually go cheaper than the Time of the Doctor set. So, you can pick them up, and just use them, however. So, what do I say? Yeah, buy it if you want it. And I like it. Now, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to the channel. Because there's a lot of videos that are ready in the can. <clears throat> Voice crack. And I hope you can get a little bit more Doctor Who figures. And, and me. I just have some cool stuff I have planned. So thank you guys. And bye.